Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So, today we will continue with the Marianas play by email, and we're going to see what happens. So, we'll go right in then for the combat replay. I don't know why this... That only seems to happen every now and then. It's rather strange. I think it's when I actually record rather than stream. Probably some weird shortcuts there. But I do hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. I hope everybody had a fantastic New Year as well. Uh, rather a brave new world here in 2020, isn't it? So we'll go ahead and see what happens and in our own world here, in our own time of 1944. Now, I did say that I was bringing back the carriers to Pagan. Right, okay, so we are going to see... Okay, yep, so more midget submarines. It will be interesting to see how he reacts to this, uh, well, to the destroyers over here. He's... He may not have a large amount of actual options here, really. If anything larger has out from these ports, they are really at a high risk of being destroyed themselves. I will take losses to the destroyers. We've already had damage, and we will probably see more damage in the future, but it is worth it to actually neutralize the actual defenses around Saipan. Yeah, looking very good there. Critical damage. She's been forced to surface, and now she's been hit by the 5-inch guns here. Ah, uh, she's an absolute goner. There's absolutely no chance she survives this. It's, uh, it's almost cruelty at this point, really, but uh, so is war. And she slips below the surface there. So you can see that the AMs have moved into position, so ideally we will see the mines being removed as well. Flying fish hits a mine at Yojima, that's unfortunate. Uh, see, this is what happens when I forget to <laughs> check where that actually headed. Uh, so that's my fault there. Ideally she will survive that, but that's, that's my fault there for not checking, man. I don't know why I seem to do this uh, as much in this campaign. It's probably because I'm not on this one as much. Got to be more rigorous, haven't I, with that one? I suppose the issue is sometimes you don't notice the patrol zones, but uh, I'll, I'll take the... Yeah, oh, oh well, at least we know there's mines there now. <laughs> I'm sure the crew know about that. If she doesn't go with this... Uh... Well, she may survive, and we'll have her brought back to begin to repair her, really, if not Pearl Harbor. Depends on the amount of damage to her, to be honest. Okay. She was sighted there, but not engaged. Moonlight is at 25%. Okay, moving into the daytime. So far, we have not detected threats, but give it time, we'll ideally detect them. Right, air operations in the AM. Okay. Set our own task force over here. Hmm. So here's aware of what's going on in the area. He does still have a large amount of aircraft. And that's something difficult to deal with, really. If he doesn't choose to use them, it's hard to get at them. I mean, he's keeping them at a distance, which I'm going to have to try and take advantage of if I can. This is why I need Saipan soon, really. Having a second airfield would definitely help us out. I need to actually have the aviation support as well, so uh, we will need base forces, we will need additional forces to move into this area. Okay, so some, right, some mass that's moving around here. Uh, supposedly Japanese heavy cruiser there. Ships being reported hit there. Airstrikes, okay. Yep. I think we could say that this one is doomed. What altitude is it coming in at? And let's see. 6,000 feet. So it's coming in very low here. Okay. The destroyers are under attack. Oh no, the AMs are under attack now. These guys may get beaten up here, but it is still going to be worthwhile. Luckily, no damage received. That is very nice. I could do with actually sending a combat patrol over here. I think that was something I overlooked. We'll see. So far, we are proving to be quite lucky, but I will cover them next turn. So if they survive that damage, I will be quite happy. More Judy's over here. And they go down. Right, there's a good number of Betty's here. Hmm. I feel something is going to get hit. Flag's not proven especially effective so far. Okay, a few more coming in here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, we are really lucky so far. 200 feet as well, that's very low altitude. Right, these guys may have more success here. Our luck is holding so far, but I don't think it will last long. <sighs> right, two more. But at least I know what's... What is to be expected here? Yeah, see, he's going in a range of different altitudes here. We've seen 200 feet to 29,000 feet. So we're hitting the actual ground forces over here. There we go. It's not uh, very effective, but I will lower the altitude as time goes on. What I'm trying to do here is just incur disruption fatigue on his forces, try and soften them up. Okay. So, we may have survived the actual torpedo bomber attacks. Maybe. There's still time yet. I may have to use my own carriers to hit the airfield, but I'd rather not do that. I'd rather use the heavy bombers as they're more effective against uh, that sort of target. At least I know what to expect this time around. Right, here we go. It's not yet over. God, the look here is amazing so far. Right, okay. This is a large number now. I'm surprised that the AA has not been more effective, but it is doing damage. I think the maneuverability has been there saving grace right now. Yeah. Eventually our luck would run out. So Evans is torpedoed there. We did well to survive so many. Right. Whew. I expected significantly more hits than just the one there. Uh, but that's what I get for overlooking that situation there. Right, okay. More midget submarines, we'll uh, skip that. Yep, she's wiped out. Yeah, that submarine went down there. There's a lot of midget submarines around here in this area. Ooh, she misses her torpedoes and she will pay with her life here, pretty much. I mean, he is using supply to do this, and I suppose it's one of those of where... Uh, it's not a bad exchange rate if it means the potential of hitting something. But the good news is it is using supply. Right, so we now know what to do. I think what I'll be doing then is using carrier combat air patrol then to cover some of these, uh... uh well, to cover the, um, actual task forces of the pan then, actually. I think that's going to be required. I may go ahead and actually bomb the airfield of Guam with the heavy bombers. We'll see. We did get quite lucky there to only come out of that with one torpedo hit. Uh, I don't think she sank as of yet. I don't know if she will sink, but we'll see. Right, another transport over there. That's very nice. I do need more supply. Okay, so we're going to go back into this van. Send out your Yamatos. Is that um, the current turn? I believe it is. We'll see him just in a moment anyway. Yeah, there we go. She's got incredible endurance there. Right, load supplies. Uh, the AM parks will arrive at Pearl Harbor next turn, so at least I'll have an escort there to make use of. Yeah. Well, supposedly there's actually CVs over here as well. That's very interesting. Hmm. Apparently BB's still here. Apparently BB there. 
Mm, that's interesting, moving northeast. Uh, he may be looking to actually engage. I think what we do here then is actually we draw from Sai, well, from Sai Pan here. And uh, until we deal with that threat. I can't believe how many actual ships are still here. He's got to have... Um, yeah, they've got to be kept. I'm going to say basically as reserves. Let's all return to Pagan. Turn to begin. Turn to begin. Same here as well. Okay, so Evans was hit, but uh, pretty rough. But we'll see. She may yet survive. Everybody will return to begin. Right, there we go. And the good news is we do have a convergence of our carriers and of our actual warships. Hmm. He's 10 hexes, so he could potentially make that in a single pound, perhaps. I think what he might be looking to do here, then, is actually to have uh, his forces hit from the north and from the south as well. Okay, so the bombs are coming from Tinian, it seems. Hmm. I'm going to disband the Boston. Okay, we do have our carriers over here as well. They've been rammed. I might be able to take on replacements here now. Yes, I can. Excellent. Right, should have done that a different way. So what I'm going to do here then is actually uh, reload the game. There's a, uh, there's a better way to do it, actually. So we'll go back in here. I didn't do too much. Not really anything much, so that's fine. Uh, I just need to make sure I load that cargo ship up again. He's a wily opponent, and I suppose the thing is, due to the fact that he has nothing beyond this scenario, I, there's no greater empire to worry about. It is difficult. He's able to concentrate everything and throw everything at us. And I suppose in a way we can as well, but we are being made to suffer. I need to check on how that sub's doing. I'm glad that we brought the carries back. Okay, so she's not terribly damaged. She's her, but it's not terrible. But I'm going to draw the submarines a little bit closer. And it does depend, like, he may head directly. So we'll see. I wish I could rely more upon the submarines, but it's one of these things of, uh, well, we've seen what happened. I think what I might do is even have the um, heavy bombers on naval attack, to be honest. They're not especially good at it, but they can, they can do it. Hmm. It might be worthwhile doing. We'll keep it within eight hexes. Well, we'll see what happens there. Right, so what I'm going to do here then is go to our carriers. 
there what I'll do. And the good news is I'll be able to ideally have more ready tomorrow. So we're going to go one, two, one, two, three. Right. So they'll be ready soon. Keep going like this. Okay, so we're still looking at two days. I was hoping that would have uh, been otherwise, but I suppose that's what it is. But that's okay. What I'm going to do is obviously replenish our squadrons. And we'll get back up to full strength. So two days we'll be back at full strength really for our power. Which is something he can't say. It's a good job that we do have an actual extensive um, re well, replacement pool. Yeah, I'll have to go out here and fill the pilots. And I don't have that many in the way of pilots, to be honest. Hmm... He may very well have me on that. Place them back in reserve. Right, that is quite worry worrisome, really, isn't it? God, that is a large quadrant. I'll uh, draw upon additional pilots if we have them in two days, when all these aircraft will be ready. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much in the way of replacement right now. That's really shocking, isn't it, really? Definitely learned a lesson there. What I'm going to do then is uh, leave behind the BBs. I'll give you Boston. And Baltimore. Then some additional DDs really. Right, they're going to fall. Task Force 52. Okay. 
Well, the good news is at least we now have additional BBs. So I think what we will do when I set them up in groups, it would be preferable to not have to engage on the surface. Uh, but if push comes to shove, then we need to be ready. And he may very well send the Yamatos. And that is very worrisome. Alright, we are beginning work on the actual port expansion. Ideally, it shouldn't take too long. But we'll see. I mean, we do have a good amount of... Well, no, it's not really a good amount. It's, it's not a very large amount, to be fair. Right. So I do have Indiana and Alabama. Indiana. Right, are they all the same class? New Jersey is New Jersey. Okay. It's a shame about the difference in speed, but I will keep them together due to their, the fact that it is the same class. Place them in groups of eight. We'll see if we have a superior commander. I'm not going to go for the best for this group, per se. Right, so I will patrol, uh, patrol between these areas here. A little bit further down. I'll perhaps actually just patrol around this area here. Back and forth, really. Put the uh, reaction up. Right, I'm going to remove uh, Wichita. Give you another DD. I do really worry about the fact that he may very well come back to attack. I really don't want them to be here longer than absolutely necessary. Right, combine 38 into here. Drop Caldwell. Or Caldwell. I mean, I don't know if they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Yamato, but they are very strong assets. So I'm glad to have them here to ideally protect the can.
So I do have New Jersey here. I think New Jersey, I mean, she's impressive. Uh, I may have to put her in just a force, really. In fairness, even these APDs are better than nothing, aren't they? I'll use the APDs. They're not ideal, but you know what I mean, like, they're not bad. At the end of the day, it's still an escort. They don't have torpedoes, unfortunately, but hey, it's it's something, isn't it? I may bring the carrier force down here to potentially engage the enemy. In fairness, now probably not a good idea to head further away. We really got hammered in terms of strike craft. I still have a good number of hell divers at least. Right. I'm going to bring her further to the north.
Maybe not so close, to be honest. About there is probably fine enough. Ideally, they might pick up a little bit of assets in that area. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting position, really, because in some ways it seems like we are um, struggling. And the struggle really is the fact that he isn't behaving as you'd imagine any other opponent would do. He cares not for the actual state of the fleet, he only cares to actually inflict losses. So he's reformed here. I mean, these Yamatos are still a threat. It looks like there might be carriers there, but we'll see. He's got a tremendous amount of aircraft there. I think what we do here then is... Well, I think we do switch indeed to a um, naval attack. I need to keep it within a. Well, actually, no, I'm going to get one of those, isn't it? Uh, let's see. We'll have some of them remain on naval search. 100% effort. They're going to run at night. Hmm. AP bombs are interesting. Keep it within... Was it nine hexes? Nine, yep. Have the Mariners do the same. What I'm going to hope for then is ideally we may be able to use the patrol to attack. 100% effort in the day. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to have the dive bombers here switch to night attacks, actually.
I think given the uh, preference he's shown to night attacks, I think we do need to be prepared, well, be prepared for that. Alright, so at least we do have escorts available. I think perhaps even more actually would be wise. But they're running long range combat air patrol. We're gonna have these guys run 100% combat air patrol here. I think these guys as well. I'd like to have additional fighters, but I've got to bear in mind that he will come to attack the actual ships here. <sighs> so we're set up now to potentially engage at night. We're going to cover our actual ships. The heavy bombers will be attached to naval attack missions. I don't know. I can but hope, really. I can but hope. I hope it's not a little, well, too little, too late. Let's see, can I load up that uh, headquarters? So I do need a headquarters, absolutely. Right. If I had torpedoes, I'd be very, very happy. Oh, right. Okay. Too bloody far, aren't they? Too bloody far. I'm going to transfer as many aircraft to you as I can, really. Range do I still gotta go to you know what talk and then over there? Damn. But I'll have more to send. The mariners might be able to make it. Yeah, I'm gonna send the mariners over there to you began. They will be appreciated.
Okay, so I'm going to hope that they can manage this. I mean, they might be able to cause some problems. A couple bomb hits would be nice, you know? That's what I'm going to hope for. They have armor and durability, so hopefully that will be enough. They don't want to be attacking at that altitude, though. Maybe 10k be enough? Probably not. But if he's escorting, well, there's not much I can do. But we'll have an escort ourselves, so hopefully that will be enough. It's going to be very interesting. I've got to get these troops out here. I think in some ways I've sort of pigeonholed myself in here, but it is one that we have to manage. I think once we deal with this threat over here, then I will look to land. I might even just forego the initial bombardments, to be fair. Uh, if it wasn't for the ships to the south, I might have just said bugger it and just attached the BBs to the amphibious force and just gone for it a wholesale now. But I think what we do once we, once we are clear the threat to the south, and it is indeed a threat. Once we are clear of this threat over here, I mean, then at least we'll be able to act. But I think we're in a state of great, well, preparation really. I'm going to send these submarines out to just see if I can actually intercept. Probably better wait in there, aren't I? It will be very interesting. It will be very interesting. I mean, that force... So it's saying there are two VBs. I'm going to conclude that's more than likely the Yamatos. Most likely. Maybe some CVs of his have survived the battle. And he probably will just pile them up with just fighters aplenty, which is a pain in the arse, really. But we'll see. It's incredible how many aircraft the Japanese actually have here, really. You wouldn't believe it. It's just been a huge amount of shot down. I think had we not been taken by surprise on that first uh, carry engagement, then things would have been significantly better. But this is it. It's a learning experience, and we are playing against a very good player. I would like to say a big thank you here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, potted hit. I don't think there's much else left to do. Yeah. Let's see aircraft forces. Hmm. Indeed. Thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Looking forward to seeing you in the next turn. If you guys have enjoyed this, please do go ahead and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, it's much appreciated. And uh, do share the channel around, it really does help the growth over here. And let me know what you think down below in the comments, I'd love to hear. And if you think I've deserved it, then uh, possibly consider becoming a patron in 2020. That would definitely help me out. <laughs> but once again guys, Happy New Year, and I wish you all the best. Till next time, goodbye for now.